More than 100 children in Bolton took a sick day today. Good evening. I'm Ann Nyberg. And I'm Keith Kuhn. School officials say those students attend the Bolton Center School. News H. Josh Scheinbloom working the story for us. He has all the details tonight from our Middletown newsroom. Josh. Bolton Center School is around where 560 students attend, and that number in recent days has been going down as many parents have been calling their kids out sick. Now, I spoke with the superintendent uh, for Bolton Public Schools, Kristen Hecht, and she says that uh, yesterday there were 186 students that were not in class at that school. Today, she says that number has gone down to 160. Now, Hecht also told me that it's not clear what illnesses may be going around as students are reporting a wide range of symptoms. But the school medical advisor for the Bolton Board of Education says he thinks it's likely that the flu is to blame. Flu is becoming widespread in Connecticut, and I just think that it got into the school and it spread because that's what it does, which is why we want everybody to get a flu vaccine. Now, officials with Bolton Public Schools tell News 8 they have no plans, uh, at least right now, to shut down Center School as they investigate what's making the students sick. And they say they are taking steps to make sure the school is as clean as possible. In a letter sent out to parents today, Superintendent Hecht wrote, quote, we are taking pro a proactive approach to fighting germs in our schools, first and foremost, by disinfecting the buildings, which includes wiping down doorknobs, desks, chairs, and other frequently touched areas, as well as airing out the building and having disinfecting pipes in our classrooms, end quote. Now, according to Heck, there have only been three confirmed cases of the flu of all of those kids that are uh, calling out sick. But according to the doctor that we talked with, uh, Dr. Dr. Buckman, he says that number may soon be going up as more students seek medical attention and as other students who are currently at that school start to show signs or symptoms of having that disease. Now, tonight, basketball practices are also closed for folks uh, who attend that school, and the school says that's just yet another step that they're taking to make sure that everyone remains safe. For now, we're live in the Middletown Newsroom at the Middletown Press. Josh Scheinblum, News 8.